The people that have used the airport several times will, uh, will tell you that um, there are certain things that the airport authorities there will not allow you to take with you on the aircraft, on the plane. For many reasons, maybe for security reasons and uh, maybe health reasons and many other reasons they will, they will, they will tell you depending on what, on what you are carrying. No matter how much you try to, you may try to negotiate. In fact, if you if you want, you can even try to corrupt them. They, you, they, those people are not are not corruptible. They will not allow you. No, this firearm you can foot charge because of this. No, you can't carry a, a a gun on the plane. You can't. So no matter how, how hard you try to get that particular item on the aircraft, on the plane, uh, the plane will just leave you. They will just tell you, no sir, no madam, you are not going to, to go wherever you are going to go until you leave behind that particular item. I think this is uh, the concept Jesus is trying to communicate to us when he talks about the narrow door, the narrow gate. And he says, strive to enter through the narrow, day, the, the narrow door or the narrow gate. Because it is not an easy gate to enter. And for you to go through that narrow, narrow door, there are certain things that you have to leave behind. Otherwise, you will not enter. The kingdom of God is open to everyone. It is available. It is, it is a given by God to everyone. Like everybody is already saved. But there is something that we, the already saved, need to do for us to claim that salvation. To make that salvation our own. There's a part we need to play. And that says, the part you need to play is to strive. That aspect of, of strife. Strive through the narrow door. The kingdom of God has been given to you quite right. But you have to struggle. You have to strive in order to grab it. In order to claim it. To make it yours. And part of the striving to enter through the narrow door has to do with leaving behind the things that you cannot carry with you into the kingdom of God. Just as you cannot carry certain, certain things onto the air, air, aircraft, no matter how much you try, those things have to remain behind. Otherwise, you will not enter the, the aeroplane. So the, the concept is this, that certain things cannot go with us into the kingdom of God. We have to leave them behind. And each one of us has what, whatever they carry that could not be accommodated in the kingdom of God. Just as at the airport you see a lot of people leaving different things behind. I think even perfumes, eh? Perfume, perfume, you can't carry that thing on the, on the plane. So this one will leave the perfume behind. The other one will be leaving Munkoyo, but when you Munkoyo, no, Munko can't go pandek. The other one, Chitute, Shani, you know, various things. Meaning that each one of us has the different, the different katundu that he or she carries. So, each one of us knows what they carry. That particular item, that cannot go with us onto the air, aircraft or into the kingdom of God. Jesus says, introspect yourself. And as you struggle through that narrow door, narrow gate, you know exactly what you need to leave behind. Otherwise, God will look at you and say, I do not know you. I do not know where you come from. Because you are carrying with you so many things that have disfigured your face. So many things that have disfigured your life. Such that God cannot recognize you anymore. And is going to say, where do you come from? I do not know you. Imagine your creator saying to you, they do, he doesn't know you. I think that should be painful. But it is because there's, there's something that you have done to yourself that has uh, disfigured the original shape that you are given by God himself. It's like along the way you've been creating yourself in your likeness and in your, in your image, such that in the end you have this image that does not even look like God anymore. And God says, I do not know you. 
go back to where you come from. Let us pray for ourselves today that each one of us may self-introspect, isolate the things that do not agree with the life that we have adopted, uh, the, life, the life of Christianity, the life that we live, that each one of us identifies those things that would prevent them from entering into the kingdom of God. And as we introspect, we actually begin to do something concretely about that. That we begin to shed off, take off or leave behind those particular items that do not go with the life of the kingdom of God. But if we continue to cling on to them, to hold on to them, God is going to look at us and say, you've been disfigured, I do not know you anymore. Amen. <laughs>